So next we head to Ghana where conservationists are working hard to protect wildlife in the Sui River, which is located in the southwestern part of the country. Our reporter met a biologist who is crazy about frogs, spending, or rather sometimes he spends as much as many weeks searching for them in the Sui River area. His aim is to recreate an environment where they can thrive. But logging in much of the area is threatening these frogs, especially his favorite one, the giant squeaker frog. Trekking through the Siri River Forest Reserve in Ghana is tough going. But then, these conservationists are on a mission. Researcher Gilbert Adam is here with some American colleagues on a quest to find a particular species of frog which they first discovered a few years ago. Not this one. Or the giant squeaker frog. Hey Gilbert, I found a frog! It's thought there are only about 30 of them left. I have to be careful here. Have we seen this frog today? No, that's lovely. Well, the same genus, but another tra a tra left is a different one, but it's a forest mm -hmm. one. It's a good find, it's a great find. We spend sometimes a whole week or two weeks every month here looking for it. For instance, we started from June and it was not until the beginning of this month, so it took four months and then we found one here. Gilbert Adam has devoted his career to the giant squeaker frog. More often than the frogs do, he finds deep pits left by illegal good prospectors. And even for the tree frogs, they can also come out because they will need things like this. Or uh, they will struggle. And if there's a predator there, the frog will not be able to escape. The frog's natural habitat is also threatened by logging. Gilbert Adam shows his colleagues from the U.S. NGO Save the Frogs the damage that's been wreaked by the timber industry. Loggers are allowed to fell just three trees per hectare here, but in fact, they chop down a lot more, leaving devastated landscapes in their wake. It's, it's been a war for us. We cannot fight them. What we have been doing is to educate the local people that this forest is not for any timber company. It's not for the government, it's for the, the local people. The village of Yokrom is located on the edge of the reserve. If the sewer forest and the frogs that live in it are to survive, the inhabitants have to do their part. They depend on cocoa cultivation for their livelihoods and also on honey production. Just open the... Here they are being taught how to build beehives and manage the bees. We are say we are. The project was initiated by the frog conservationists. In the past, locals harvested honey in the wild with fire, but would burn down trees in the process. The new beekeeping system is designed to protect the forest. Change is afoot in Yokrom. In another project, the ground that was cleared to make way for farmland is being replanted. In just a few years, Gilbert Adam and his organization have managed to enlist the support of locals in protecting the forest. Initially, they didn't take his work seriously and didn't even see the point of saving the frog and its habitat. But now they've helped plant 15,000 seedlings. The forest is so vast, so, so vast, and there are so many places degraded. See how far we came into the forest and see the farms that have been made. And now the local people have agreed um, that they will work with us. We should do the planting in their, on their farms uh, so that later uh, the trees will take over. Today the village of Yokrom is welcoming the community chief. School children are reciting poems to mark the occasion. I'm here to recite a poem titled Types of Frogs. Types of Frogs. There are many different types of frogs. 
The celebration revolves around the frogs and the frog conservationists. Gilbert Adam is even awarded a special honor. I, Nana, Kwabina Bosompim, the first, I swear allegiance to you, Nana, to help in the development of Yakrum. They've made me the chief of the environment, environmental chief. I've never heard of an environmental chief in Ghana or even West Africa. So I may be the first environmental chief across all of West Africa. And it's all because of nothing else but frogs and the giant squeaker frog in particular. The frog has become a symbol of the community's commitment to protecting their environment. And that's all for today's edition of Eco at Africa. Hope you enjoyed it. Join us next week for another edition of interesting stories about the environment. And if you missed any of our other reports, visit our websites, all showing on your screen as the Channels TV and the Deutsche Welle or the KTN websites. Bye bye from Lagos, Nigeria. And it's been a pleasure having you watch this edition of Eco at Africa. We look forward to having you again as we give you more eco-friendly stories from Africa and across Europe. My name is Joy Doreen Bira from Nairobi, Kenya. Until next time, bye-bye.